2022 was the year I experienced my greatest failures. Like many, I was excited for what the year 2022 would bring me, but I wasn't ready for the challenges and failures I would face this past year. I mean, it's been no secret, 2022 hasn't been a great year, at least for me. You see, while there's been many ups, there's also been many, many downs. And that really reflected in the amount of uploads for this year. And I've only uploaded seven videos and well, technically eight with this one. And I actually feel like I've let you, the viewer, down. And honestly, I know for sure that I've let myself down from this past year. Back in September, I kind of mentioned it in this video, but I was struggling mentally, which was the reason why I was just absent from creating videos and entertaining all of you. You see, I just moved back home with my family, quit my job as a videographer, and I was trying to figure out what my future is and the same for my purpose. This year, I experienced a lot of pain, but that pain led to growth, which I really needed in my life. Right now, I'm 26 years old, and come July, I'm gonna be 27, which is honestly really scary. And I finally did the one thing I knew I needed to do to survive, which was my transition. January 5th is gonna be two years since I started hormone replacement therapy, which is just absolutely wild to think. Where has time gone? And if I'm gonna be completely honest with all of you, I'm extremely glad that I did that because I can now look in the mirror and be happy with myself. And of course, there's still some small changes I'm trying to work on, like obviously my weight. But knowing that 30 is right around the corner, it's time that I level up, which is why this next year is the most important year of my life. This is what I'm calling my make or break year. I love creating videos and I also love telling stories, but most importantly, I really love being able to connect with you and entertain you, the viewer. And I'm looking forward to doing that in 2023, but before I talk about next year, let's talk about the good of 2022. So in a year that wasn't the greatest for me, there was a lot of good, like getting to spend my first full year as my most authentic self, which I'm genuinely very thankful for. And while 2022 may not have been an easy year, living as the person I truly am made it so much better. And it was honestly amazing just being able to be happy in my own body for once. Now, when I had actually posted content this year, it surprisingly did well. I had many TikToks pop off, including live streams, which allowed me to hit 200,000 TikTok followers. So I guess I'm technically a TikToker now. Yay. But in my heart, I'm still a YouTuber. And I also had one of the craziest video ideas I've ever attempted, which was me trying to trade a Mr. Beast feastful chocolate bar up to a Tesla, which allowed me to end up with a $25,000 Hulkbuster arm that I still have. So um, if somebody wants it, please hit me up because uh, I still want to get to a Tesla. But the most insane part to me was that same video got 4.2 million views on Facebook, which is my most viewed video ever, especially for long form content. And while I'm super grateful for that, I am looking forward to smashing those numbers this year, but on YouTube. I also had some shorts that did really, really well, and I highly recommend to all creators trying to grow to post high quality short form videos because that is literally what YouTube wants. And I know this from convos I've had with people at YouTube, so I would take it for what it is, but definitely make some shorts. Most importantly in 2022, I experienced a lot of growth like never before. And I'm talking about growing as a person and not a creator. And this allowed me to heal mentally and reach a level that I haven't reached in years. Like my mindset hasn't been this clear in such a long time. And that is something I'm genuinely excited to have going into the new year. So what's the plan going into 2023? I know you've been waiting patiently to hear it, so here it is. So this might come as a complete surprise to you, but in 2023, I am completely quitting YouTube and social media in general. Now, I'm actually not. I, I'm doing YouTube for life, no matter what. But in reality, I just wanna create meaningful videos and tell stories that will entertain you and have some kind of positive impact on those who do watch it. This year, I'm putting my attention on what I call redemptive videos, which is where I put myself into scenarios that normally I wouldn't be comfortable with, but it will allow me to grow as a person, but also allow those who are watching to hopefully grow and learn. Honestly, all I want is you to feel good when you click on an Emily Saxon video this year and be left with the feeling of just wanting more. In 2023, I plan on posting two to four long form videos a month and slowly building out a team to help with that. And at some point, I'm gonna be looking for an editor who can not just only edit, but be able to tell a story. So if that's you, send me an email with your best work. Also in 2023, expect shorts. 
a lot of shorts. One last thing to end this video is that I recently signed up for Airx Creator Now program, which is basically a school for content creators. And I'm doing this not only to just learn more about creating, but to also connect with other creators and to help keep me focused this year on entertaining all of you. And I also spent like $250 that I didn't have and kind of need to make that back. So let's get to work. Now, with all that being said, let's make 2023 a year to remember. So I'll see you next year.